that uh, I think that uh, you understand how come we had to take him into custody for evaluation, at least preliminary medical evaluation. I was not there at the exact time that he was taken into custody, so I, I can't tell you that. Will there be char actual charges filed of any sort? Uh, there are uh, charges are being filed against him at the present time. You know which ones? Well, I know uh, we're going to have to discuss that. Like uh, I told the police officials, uh, the prosecutor's job has just begun, so we've got to discuss all the matters. Uh, uh, at the present time, okay. Is the agreement any good that you, that you have to sign, immunity agreements, are they valid in any way at all? Will they stand up in any court? Uh, we promised immunity. Uh, uh, I'm going to have a statement on this at a later time, and uh, I would like to be able to collect my thoughts and be able to uh, discuss it rationally. I'm very tired at the present time. I'd rather not uh, discuss it. Have you any Thank precedent you. at this point for this kind of thing? Uh, I, I just would rather not comment at this is present time. Is the press conference going to be tomorrow? Uh, we'll, you'll be notified. Yeah. Does that mean should we hang around here? It won't be tonight, then. Oh, oh man. <laughs> I'm just trying to fall. Whatever charges are filed, will they, will they be local and state charges, or are you thinking as a federal? Uh, I think that uh, you'll have to talk with the uh, state's attorney, or the U.S. attorney, about that, because the charges that are being filed at the present time are all local charges. Is, is a basic concern to try to get him some sort of treatment? At the present time, that's the only thing that we're interested in, is uh, taking him out of the, the society uh, for basic evaluation. Uh, you know, there are a lot of things that are going to go into this, whether or not he's uh, mentally competent to even be charged in the first place. So that's what we're into now. We're going to do the initial. Uh, are you using a 72-hour commitment uh, statute in Indiana law at this present time? What does that do? Uh, it allows us to commit someone for a preliminary evaluation, exactly what we're doing now for a period of uh, 72 hours. After 72 hours, would you have to then decide on filing something? Yeah. That's correct. Thank you. I, I, Thank you. Yeah, what? Dead Man's Line, the true story of Tony Karitsis.